This video will show how a phreatic eruption occurs, like we see in Chaos Crags or Lassen Peak itself. Some phreatic or steam eruptions occur in the springtime as warmer temperatures begin to melt the snow. The liquid then trickles down through the soil of the volcano, where it encounters the magma chamber. This once solid snow has now turned into a liquid, but when it encounters the magma chamber, it tries to turn from a liquid to a gas. This builds up incredible pressure, because in order to change from a liquid to a gas, water has to expand 1,500 times its original size. But it can't expand because there's a mountain on top of it. The pressure builds and builds until it causes an earthquake and a fissure is broken through. Once this avenue of release occurs, then the water immediately vaporizes, expanding to 1,500 times its size and literally blowing the top off of the mountain. My theory is that when snow starts to melt in the late spring, it turns from solid to liquid and goes down through the soil of the mountain and hits the magma chamber. And when it hits the magma chamber, it wants to boil. It wants to turn from a liquid to a gas. But the problem is, it can't because there's a lid on it called a mountain. Just like that little cup I took a minute ago, I put a red lid on it. The moment I put liquid nitrogen in there and it wanted to turn to gas, it popped the lid off. So I'm going to pretend that this metal pan is the magma chamber. I'm going to put liquid nitrogen into here. That will become the rainwater that's trickled down into the magma chamber. To simulate the weight of a mountain, I'm going to seal it. And then I'm going to bury it under snow. So here's our magma chamber. Here's the rainwater, or the snow melt, that is trickling down. through the soil into the magma chamber. Okay, so the rainwater, the snow melt is going down and hitting the magma chamber. It wants to expand, but it can't because there's a mountain on top of it. 